Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add 3D content to PDF documents using Acrobat. Acrobat can view U3D and PRC3D files such as the kind created in Adobe Photoshop. To add a 3D object to a PDF, select the Add 3D tool found in the Interactive Objects panel of the Tools pane in the Task pane. Then click and drag to define the rectangular canvas area for the 3D object within a page in the PDF. When you release the mouse button, the Insert 3D dialog box appears. Click the Browse button at the right end of the File field to open the Select a File dialog box. Use this dialog box to find the 3D file, click it to select it, and then click the Open button to return to the Insert 3D dialog box. The name of the selected 3D file and its pathway will appear within the File field. You can click the Show Advanced Options checkbox to display advanced options for the 3D object within the tabs that appear at the bottom of the Insert 3D dialog box. The Launch Settings tab displays the same launch settings available when inserting a video, audio, or SWF file. As this was just covered in the last lesson, we will skip reviewing it again here. You can click the 3D tab to apply settings that determine the initial view of the 3D object and its display. In the Default Display Settings section, you can click the Background Color box and then choose a color from the drop-down menu to select a background color for the 3D canvas display. You can use the Lighting Scheme drop-down to choose the default lighting to apply to the display. You can use the Rendering Style drop-down to set the default rendering method of the 3D object in the display. You can use the Animation Style drop-down to set a default animation method for animated 3D objects. In the Navigation section, you can add default views to the display by checking the Add Default Views checkbox and then selecting a set of default views from the adjacent drop-down menu. Now, if available, you can check the Retain Views, Comments, and Scripts checkbox to retain those elements in the display. To make a toolbar available that allows the user to change the display in the PDF, check the Show Toolbar checkbox. To display the model tree of the 3D object in the display, you can check the Open Model Tree checkbox. To add a default script to the display, click the Browse button in the Script section to open the Select a Default Script dialog box. Use this dialog box to locate the JavaScript to run, click it to select it, and then click the Open button in the dialog box to add that script to the script field. You can click the Resources tab to add additional Flash resources needed for 3D objects developed in Flash. You can click the Add button to add individual files, or you can click the Add Directory button to add all files within a folder you choose. The files added will then be shown in the list below. You can click a file in this list and then set its properties and bindings in the area below. For selected items, you can also click the Remove button to remove them if needed. You can then enter a name used in scripts into the Properties field if needed. To set binding properties for the selected item, you can choose the Option button of the binding type to apply. If material is selected, enter the name of the material into the adjacent field. If needed, you can use the FlashVars field to add action script variables to the selected file for scripting purposes. Now, after setting any 3D display options that are necessary, click the OK button to apply them and insert the 3D object into the PDF page. 
You can move, resize, edit, or delete the 3D canvas after adding it to the PDF. To perform any of these tasks, select the Select Object tool within the Interactive Objects panel in the Tool pane of the Task pane. To move the 3D object, click and drag the 3D canvas to another location in the page. To resize the canvas, click the 3D object and then click and drag the resizing handles located on the bounding box of the canvas. To edit the 3D settings, double click the 3D canvas to open the Edit 3D dialog box where you can change the same settings shown in the Insert 3D dialog box and then click the OK button to apply them. To delete the 3D object, click it to select it and then simply press the Delete key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.